Whether you loved him or not, there is one thing I believe we can learn from Rob Ford. That and more coming up. Good Mark TV morning. A couple of days ago, the former mayor of Toronto, Rob Ford, passed away after an 18-month battle with cancer. Now, for those of you who might remember, if you don't live in Toronto, Rob Ford was notorious for doing all these outrageous things, everything from cavorting with hookers, being kicked out of events for being drunk or swearing, uh, generally getting into trouble, and of course, possibly or allegedly doing crack cocaine. But aside from all that, there's something really, really awesome that kind of evolved from all this. And the Toronto Star here and, and all the local Toronto papers, there was this huge outpouring of love and respect for this guy after he passed away. And what I find really interesting is the same papers that are now um, honoring him were the ones who were ripping into him when he was mayor. Uh, basically, they had nothing good to say about this guy. And now they're talking about how he was this amazing guy and he cared so much about the community. And what what's sort of right about all this is they ripped into him as mayor. I think a lot of people would agree that he was probably one of the worst mayors Toronto ever had, but as an individual, he had something that very few people had and continue to have today as far as I'm concerned, and that's authenticity. You see, Rob Ford was an authentic guy. He was, well, he was who he was. He didn't try to be something different. And whether you liked him or not, he didn't try to change. So many people now, especially with social media, you don't have to be authentic. You can post and blog and tweet whatever you want to make yourself appear to be what you think other people would want you to be. But Rob Ford, well, he didn't do that. He stuck to it. Nobody ever said to Rob Ford, well, you're not who I thought you'd be, or I thought you'd be something different. A few years ago when he was running for mayor, I got the privilege of interviewing him. And I gotta tell you, he said every answer without giving it any thought which is not necessarily a bad thing, but what it means is he said it right from the heart. He didn't have to mix words. He didn't have to analyze what he was going to say. He just said it. And some of the answers he gave me maybe weren't the most intelligent or perhaps even the right answers or the answers you'd expect, but they were real answers. With that, Rob, you've taught all of us the importance of being authentic. And it goes beyond people with regards to companies so many companies, and Rob ran a company himself, he ran a company that made labels. So many companies, they lack that authenticity themselves. They're focused on going after what's called the target market, which is essentially a group of people that they want to like them. And instead, more companies should be authentic themselves. They should say, this is who we are, this is our values, and we want to attract people who are in sync with those values. And that's what Rob Ford did. He said his message based on his values and it happened to resonate with enough people that got him elected. So with that, my condolences to the Ford family. I got a chance to meet them all a number of years ago and they are all wonderful people. And Rob, whatever you're doing right now, whether it be coaching kids football or drinking or just having a big old party, I hope you're having a good time doing it because you deserve it and it's you. I'm sure you have some questions or comments about this, so feel free to post them below. I promise I will answer. And if you like this episode and wanna see more, just click subscribe up above if you're watching this on YouTube, and I will see you soon. Take care.